Morticia's psychic insisted that Lucy could be saved by driving out her evil spirits. Rooms such as this one were built to confuse the spirits, making it more difficult for them to find Lucy. One morning, Hannibal came in here to find a doll that looked suspiciously like him, swinging from a noose. Climbing on the ceiling furniture is strictly prohibited. Please proceed to the next room. Hi there. Approach and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens will not be harmed. As we pass back through the parlor, notice the stairway going nowhere. This was yet another attempt by Morticia to confuse the evil spirits possessing her daughter. It is not permitted to dangle small children over the railing as you proceed to the next room. Madame Scarlatta conducted seances in this room for Morticia in an attempt to drive the evil spirits from her daughter. Lucy would sit in the room above this one and knock on the ceiling during seances. Madame Scarlatta once accused the little girl of trying to push her down the stairs. There is no need to be scared. Modern science has proven that ghosts are not real and seances are fake. When the Grandchester Mystery Mansion was sold at auction, several trick candles were found here. Next room. In this room, you will see the collected artifacts from Lucy Grandchester's short time on this earth. Approach and I identify these items. What child would not want to play with a toy boning knife like the one Lucy used to skin small animals? Continue resistance. For is adults, unlawful. functional replicas are available. When you are I'm done, all over this. Please proceed to the next one. Okay, that looked like it hurt.
After impaling his foot with a rusty spike that was mysteriously driven into his shoe, Hannibal came to Lucy's room to punish her for the prank. We'll never know for sure how it happened, but he was found with a pair of scissors driven through his eye and into his brain. Lucy claimed she was holding them in self-defense as he tried to beat her with his cane. She said he tripped and fell onto the scissors. When asked why his fingers had all been cut off, she replied that it was so he couldn't hold the cane again. Lucy's mother was found dead in the master bedroom with a cloth doll stuffed in her mouth. Her wrists had rope burns, but no ropes were ever found. Lucy insisted that the doll was solely responsible because Morticia wouldn't give her a kiss goodnight. Lucy was committed to an asylum. On her 18th birthday, she escaped. Nine days later, she was found hanging in the attic, dead from an apparent suicide. Please proceed to the next room. Hmm? Let's do this. Splitting all that, right? <laughs> <laughs> 